Hey guys, Justin here and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to edit your photo to look much more 3D by using some simple yet very powerful subject separation editing techniques in Photoshop. Let's go. So here we are in the amazing world of Photoshop, but before we dive into our subject separation editing techniques, let's first understand what this concept is all about. Well, subject separation is a technique used across multiple art forms to emphasize the main subject as a separate entity from the background, helping to make your subject stand out or pop from the background, thus making your overall image look more 3D. So now that you know what subject separation is and why it's important, let's dive into the first subject separation editing technique, Tonal Contrast Differential. So it's called a differential because we want the tonal contrast of our subject to be different than that of our background. It is as simple as that. Now there are many ways to achieve this look, but my favorite is to use the levels adjustment layer. As you can see by our demo over here, we have two levels adjustment layers applied to our image. The first to increase the contrast in our subject, the second to reduce the contrast in our background. So let's take a look at one more before and after. As you can see, this has a tremendous effect in making your subject pop from the background. So let's delete these demo layers and let's recreate this effect so you can see exactly how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to click on levels right here. Next, you want to proceed to go over to the white point slider right over here. Click and drag this to the left. This will brighten the highlights in your image. Next up, you want to go to the black point slider right over here. Click and drag this to the right. This will darken the black point and shadows in your image. So as you can see, we have increased the contrast in the entirety of our image, but that's not what we want to do. We want to create a subject separation. So we want to apply this specifically to our subject alone. And to do that, we can take advantage of layer masks. A layer mask in Photoshop is simply a feature that allows you to be selective with where you apply an effect. White reveals, black conceals. So wherever you see white on your layer mask is where an effect will be shown on your artboard. Wherever black is shown is where an effect will be concealed or not visible on your artboard. We want to go ahead and apply this effect specifically to our subject. So let's go ahead and click on the layer mask thumbnail right over here and hit command I. This will invert the layer mask, converting it from all white to all black. So now this effect is no longer visible anywhere on our artboard. Let's now go ahead and hit B for the brush tool. You can adjust the size using the bracket keys on your keyboard. And you can start to paint in white onto your subject alone. You can go ahead and hold Alt and click on your layer mask thumbnail to see where you have painted white onto your layer mask. Hold Alt again and click the layer mask to exit out of this view. So let's take a look at a before and after. That's looking great to me, but we're not finished yet. We now want to create a stronger tonal contrast differential by making the background a lower contrast value. To do that, all we need to do is go down to your create a new adjustment layer and click on levels. Hold Alt and click on the underlying layer mask and drag that onto your new levels adjustment layer. Hit yes. Now you want to hit command I Let's now click onto your levels adjustment layer. And now you want to be working with these sliders over here. We want to click on the white point slider, drag this to the left. This will darken the highlights in the background. You then want to go to the black point slider over here, move this to the right by a couple of notches. This will brighten the shadows in the background. So let's look at these two applied effects together. Let's take a look at a before and after. Before and after. A brilliant way to make your subject pop from the background and boost your photo's sense of depth. Next up, we have our second and third subject separation editing techniques, complementary color palettes and color saturation. So let's dive into our second subject separation technique, which is all about color differentials. So here we are back in Photoshop and as you can see, I've already gone ahead and applied the tonal contrast differential to our image. Here's a before and after. I have also applied a color differential subject separation effect to our image here. Let's take a look at a before and after. It's important to note that each subject separation technique that I teach you in this video needs to be combined together for optimal results. So first and foremost, let's tackle the complementary color differential. 
The name of the game here is to apply warmer colors to our subject, all the whilst applying opposite cooler colors to our background. To do that, we can use a curves adjustment layer right over here. So let's first click on the layer mask, hit command I to invert it. And we want to apply this effect to our subject alone. Now let's return to our curves adjustment. Click the drop down menu over here, click blue. Use the eyedropper tool to select the tones in our skin. And using the directional keys, click down two or three times to reduce the amount of blue in the skin, thus increasing the amount of yellow. If you were to click up, you would increase the amount of blues and reduce the amount of yellows, but that's not what we want. Now let's go ahead and click into our color drop down menu here, click into the reds. Use the eyedropper tool again, click into the tones on the skin. Using the directional keys, let's click up this time. One, two, three. In doing so, we're increasing the amount of reds in the skin, thus decreasing the amount of cyan in the skin. Cyan being the opposite color of red. So let's take a look at a before and after here. Before, after. Very subtle effect, but we're going to be compounding effects here. So subtle is good. So now that we've applied warmer colors to our subject, let's apply cooler colors to our background and the area surrounding our subject. To do that, click into the adjustment layers icon right over here. Click curves again. Let's apply the appropriate layer mask to this curves adjustment layer. So hold alt, click and drag this layer mask into the new curves adjustment layer. Hit yes. Hit command I to invert it. Click into the curves adjustment layer over here. Let's go ahead to the drop down menu right over here. Click into the blue tab. Use the eyedropper tool, select the background. And using the directional arrow keys, click up two or three times. So now we've increased the amount of blues in the background. Let's click into the red. Using the eyedropper tool, let's click into the background once again. And this time we want to click down by a couple notches. In doing so, we're reducing the amount of red in the background by increasing the cyan. Now let's look at the effect of both applied adjustments put together before, after, before, after. Already getting a bit of a color pop here, but we're not done yet. Let's go over to our saturation differential folder right over here. And now we want to apply effects to increase the color saturation in our subject, all the whilst decreasing the color saturation in the area surrounding our subject. So to do that, we can go over to our adjustment layers icon right over here, create a new adjustment layer. This time we want to go over to the hue and saturation. Now we want to give our subject a color saturation boost. So let's copy and paste the layer mask from the first curves adjustment layer. Hold alt, click on the layer mask, drag it and drop it. Click into the adjustment layer tab right over here. Go over to the saturation slider right over here and drag this to the right. That looks good to me. The skin is looking a little bit red. So let's go ahead and fix that. We can click the drop down menu right over here, click into the reds and let's go over to the hue slider right over here and bump this to the right by a couple of notches. That's looking great to me. Let's look at a before and after and what comes next. Yup, you guess it. We've got to go ahead and desaturate the background slightly. And let's click and drag this to the left this time to decrease the saturation in the area surrounding our subject. So let's see what happens when we bring all these color differential applied effects together as one. Let's look at a before and after, before and after. An awesome difference, but let's see how this combines with the initial tonal contrast differential effects that we applied in the beginning of the video. So let's take a look at a before and after after. Such a huge, huge difference. I'm hoping you're starting to see why subject separation is one of my favorite go-to's when making portrait edits in Photoshop. Now, these three subject separation techniques should always be included in your final touches for any portrait edit. And speaking of portrait editing, if you're curious to learn my complete workflow for retouching portraits, editing colors and tones from start to finish, take a look at my portrait editing course, which will be linked in the YouTube description down below. As always, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. If you found this helpful, if you would like to see more editing tutorials just like this. Guys, that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.